spirit. Well, okay, let's talk about that because uh, obviously a lot has been made of the, the £40 costume. I mean, it was quite a sight on the night. It was well, an amazing sight. Who are you talking to it, by the way? What? You know, um, a lot's been made of the, um, you know, the ring walk. What, what, what has happened to you in America? Hey, did you see Marvel's costume, mate? Yeah, that's better. Mental. So, and, and, right. and, and um, you know, I mean, it was quite a sight. It was quite Fuck a sight, off. though. Mate, it was it quite was a sight, that. though. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. I mean, first of all... I quite liked it. When he was walking in, yeah, like, No, I'm not talking about so it. Long. Yes, but... Yeah, I know, but after... Right, okay. Right. So, number one... So, you get this made on the night. What, you've never seen it before? Have you not thought, maybe I'll try it on or see how it feels when I walk to the ring? So, we're presuming now that he's gone into the changing room, yeah? And they've gone, yo, Big D, you got two minutes, son? Okay, right? And then, right, ready? Yeah, let's walk. Oh, give me that thing. Fucking hell, that's heavy. Oh, I don't know if I can walk out of this. Come on, mate. Just, I know it's 40 pound, but you'll be fine. Oh, all right, help me up. Help me up. Oh, oh. What? Right. He gets in the ring. Yeah, take it off, mate. Oh, bloody hell. Your legs are like jelly. I mean, have you ever heard anything so ridiculous in all your life? I mean, firstly, I'm, I'm sure it was heavy, right? But the walk's like, I don't know, 100 yards or something like that. But... How can you even get an outfit that's heavy? And I mean, it's the biggest fight of your career, the defining moment of your like Basically, you're saying that the reason that you didn't win the career defining fight, the legacy moment in your history, is because you had a gown that was too heavy or an outfit. I mean, amateurs, amateurs. And even worse, how can you then turn around and say, uh, well, what it was actually. If it wasn't the outfit, Mark Breland is friends with one of Sugar Hill's friends. And that's why he threw the towel. I mean, Mark Breland, like, the last thing you ever want is a brave trainer. Do you know what I mean? And when you have a guy like Mark Breland, who, by the way, was a brilliant fighter, brilliant fighter, great puncher, and prior to that, was getting a lot of credit to Wilder's kind of yeah. career, yeah. Like, Jay Diaz, with all due respect to Jay, like, it's all very well Wilder saying, no, I've told these guys, leave me in there, I'd rather die, I think he said, or something like that. He weren't doing anything. You, If you're having a go and you get knocked out, then that's, like, if you're just hanging on for survival, did you see his body language when he went back, back to the corner? He's got his head in a towel. He's like, he's away with the fairies. He didn't know where he was. So, and by the way, he was extremely brave still to, to hang in there. I mean, you know, he weren't, he weren't gambling, but he was still surviving. And he deserves credit, respect. But don't come out and say that your gown outfit was too heavy and that Mark Breland actually threw the towel in because he knows the other bloke's trainer. Who is in charge of this PR? 